Today I want to show how I use a creative service called Envato Elements. This is a service that I think just about any kind of content creator could benefit from because it's basically like having an entire enormous digital catalog of ready-to-go assets available sitting over here on a hard drive that you just can use whenever you need. Whenever you need. So Envato Elements is an unlimited creative subscription service that gives you access to 16 million creative assets for just $16.50 per month. Now, I don't know how long you've been in the content creation game, but something like this was unheard of a few years ago. To put it in perspective, to download and license one music track used to cost $20 for one video, one music track. And now you not only get a ton of music for $16.50 per month, but you get stock video, motion graphics, sound effects, video templates, graphics, photos, presentation templates. It really is like an all-you-can-eat buffet bargain for content creators. So you get access to 16 million assets with unlimited downloads and each one when you download it comes with a commercial license. So basically you designate what project you are licensing this download for. I can show you that in more detail when I sign in. I just wanted to kind of walk through this without being signed in because it gives you a better overview of what comes with the service. So if you are interested in checking out Envato Elements, I do have a link in the description. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, so I will earn a small commission if you sign up using my link at no extra cost to you. In fact, sometimes you get a benefit from signing up with an affiliate link. So check out the link in the description below. Here's another thing that's really cool is you don't even have to sign up to look and see what everything you would get with a subscription. So without being logged in, I can go and look at all of the stock footage, the 4.7 million pieces of stock footage that's available and more. Check out, I can go listen to the music and see if it's something that I'd be interested in, right? So let's sign in and I'll show you how I use it. Once you sign up for Envato Elements and you sign in, this is your new home page. You've got the same categories at the top, but now you have a new look when you sign in. I rarely look at anything down here. I usually go right for what I'm looking for. So let's just, for an example, let's go look for some epic sports intro music. Audio jungle. Okay, I just pushed play. You heard that audio jungle at the top. That's a watermark. Um, when you download this for a project, you're gonna get this version of this song without that watermark. This is just important to bring up because you should never use the version of the song that has that watermark on it. It's only there to protect the artist from this song getting stolen or used without permission. Audio jungle. If you download a preview of this song, for instance, from here, it's gonna have that watermark on there, okay? So just make sure you always come back, download the, the version without the watermark and switch it out in your edit. One important thing to note while we're here, and this is specifically for YouTubers, is content ID. Content ID is a way for musicians to protect their music from being stolen, repackaged, retitled, and sold by someone else. So I don't fault musicians for registering their music with Content ID. However, as YouTubers, it's something you need to be aware of. Envato has a nice link right here you can click that has information on YouTube Content ID and how to deal with it. What you really need to know right here is when you upload a video to YouTube that contains digitally fingerprinted music, you will get a third-party content match copyright notice on your YouTube account. This does not mean that copyrights have been infringed and it should not be confused with a copyright strike. It is simply a notice that YouTube has detected content ID registered content within your video and that further information and action is needed. The important thing to note here is that you get a license file when you download from Envato Elements that allows you to clear potential copyright notices on your account. That's why it's especially important that when you download this track, you specify exactly what project it is for because that's the license that's created that you can use to clear any copyright infringement. Now, if you don't wanna deal with any of this, Envato has a very simple way to filter search results so that nothing with content ID is shown, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So let's just listen to a few music tracks and see if we can find anything we like. Let's check the ending out. Nice strong ending, that sounds great. Let's say that's the track. You can download it right now, or if you aren't 100% sure yet, and you might wanna listen to some other music, but this is what I do, I always add it to a collection. 
Okay, so let's make a collection here. Let's call it football intro video. And we're gonna create a collection. Now, it's just created a new collection called football intro video. And this song has been added to it right there. See that? And these are past collections that I have made, all right? So let's keep looking for songs. We good? Audio jump. Audio jump. I like that one. I think that might be a contender as well, so let's add that to our collection. Something else to note, you see that it ended, but it's not at the very end. That's because there's multiple versions of this song that come with this. So if you click on it to get more information, you'll see that the main track is two minutes and 10 seconds long, but there are additional shorter tracks. So if you need a 30 second version, he's already made an edit of it and it's right here, okay? So that's uh, just something to note. So you found two potential songs for your video. Um, let's just, oh, one other quick thing to note while you're here is on every category, there's gonna be filters on the side that, that can help you narrow the search. So for instance, like let's say you need a sports song, but you need it to be over three and a half minutes long. Okay, here we go. So all of these songs, if you look at the links, have a version at least of the song that is over three and a half minutes. So it's a quick way to narrow it down. You can also look for songs that have vocals and that's gonna get you way more narrowed down. Here's some songs that have vocals that are over three and a half minutes that are tagged somehow epic sports intro music. And with these filters on the left side, if you go all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see excludes content ID. This is how you can let the search that you're looking for exclude any music that is registered with content ID. So now look, we've narrowed it all the way down to one track so if I click on this track, you will see that this track has no YouTube content ID registration. So you have a collection started. I'm sure you're asking, where is that collection? But before we go do that, let's add a video to it just so we can have more than just music. So let's go find some stock footage. Let's see, maybe we said we're doing a football intro, right? So let's just look at a football player. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's say that shot was just totally incredible and you love it. We can download it straight away again or we can add it to a collection. So here's our football intro video collection that we created. We can add it right there. Again, like I said before, there's filters for, for video now. If you needed a specific frame rate, uh, there's also alpha channel and loop. This can be very helpful if you're looking for something like, let's, let's add fire and we wanna, we wanna overlay it over the video. So we need to find it with an alpha channel. Alpha channel means it has a transparent background. So this fire clip can be used over the video. So let's say we like this right here. This, this, we're gonna add this to our football shot, obviously. So I'm gonna add this cool fire shot to our collection as well. You can see how quickly you're just confined elements uh, to use. Okay, so we've got music, we've got video. Let's go get some sound effects. Audio. There you go. So let's add this, uh, these sound effects to the collection as well. It's usually good to have multiple types of crowd sounds, so let's add that. Once you have a couple things added to your collection, you can go up to your username up here and go to My Collections, all right? And this is where your new collection is. So let's check it out. Here are the sound effects, three sound effects that we found, our cool fire that should have an alpha channel on it, uh, so we can overlay it over our video. Uh, and we also have our two music choices, okay? So you're basically just collecting and curating things that you might wanna use. We haven't downloaded anything yet. When you go to download it, let's say I'm gonna go with this song, okay? So you would, instead of adding it to another collection, you would now download it. And you're gonna give it a project name here. This is where you are creating a music license to use this song for a specific project, all right? So this is my Envato Elements walkthrough tutorial video. So I'm gonna add it and download it. Now you're gonna get a version of this song without that watermark and you are good to go. Same for any other assets you're gonna use. Now you can, let's say you're ready to grab this fire uh, video, you wanna download it for the same project. You will hit download and now the project is down here that you just made, all right? So you can add it to the same project. What this is doing is it's licensing these assets to a specific project, okay? You can always go back and check out your projects under your My Downloads folder 
If you go here, you'll see what you've downloaded and what project name it was downloaded for, okay? And the date you did it. You can also download your actual music document license here, which I highly recommend I'm keeping it with the project in a project folder. So that's an overview of Envato Elements. This is like having an enormous creative digital assets library. This is incredibly useful no matter what kind of content creator you are. I highly recommend checking it out. Link in the description below. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.